<laughs> well, when you got a gantry crane, everything is hanging, believe me. This is my mobile gantry crane. I needed it for a commission I had a long time ago. It was two stones for a fountain that I had to build. And of course, you know, the stones, when they came from the quarry, they didn't have flat spots on them where I needed them. I figured, well, okay, I'll make a gantry crane. I'll have two chain falls on it, and that way I can pick up both stones, get them positioned just exactly the way I want them, hold them with a the gantry crane, do all my fabrication, do all my metal work to the stone, and then, ooh, wait a minute, I know, if I make this gantry crane just right, I can help myself out later when it comes time to deliver this piece. So before I even ordered the steel to make this gantry crane, one of the specifications I needed was the inside measurement of my big 14-foot trailer. Because I can make these legs where they would just go up the ramp, go into the trailer, inside the walls. Oh, wait, I know. Let's make this cross beam a little bit taller. Rather than put it down here where the legs have more support, no, no, let's bring it up higher so these two stones in this fountain, when I lay them down, they'll fit through here. So the ideal configuration here is I can pick up both stones with the gantry crane. I can wheel it outside, turn the gantry crane sideways in the driveway. I can back my trailer right underneath the gantry crane, have one stone off this side, one stone off that side, it's 10 foot wide in here, plenty big enough for the trailer. And then I can pick up each stone, put it in the trailer, tie my chains up, get them out of the way, and then go around the back of the trailer and be able to wheel this thing right up the ramp, right over the stones, tie it down in the trailer. And now I can just take the whole thing to the location, do it all in reverse. And most gantry cranes, you know, the ones you see in big factories, they're huge. This I-beam here, this is just a little tiny I-beam. You go to a big factory, you got this monster up there with these big collies on it with you know, hooks that are the size of my head or bigger. They sit up on the, in the rafters of the building, if you will. They move on their own trolley, their own track up there. They can span the building from side to side. They can move from one end of the building all the way to the other. Don't need that here. This is just perfect. So how did I build it? That was the easy part. I went down to the metal yard and I said, look, I want to build a gantry crane. I really don't know what I'm doing. How big of an I-beam do I need? He said, well, how much weight are you picking up? I thought, wait a minute. I know where there's two one-ton chain falls over at Harbor Freight. So that gives me a starting point. So I know I'm going to, at the most, I'm going to pick up two ton. So I figured, well, all right, let's over-engineer it. Give me an I-beam that'll handle four ton. Now I have no worries about ever getting weight here and having that I-beam collapse on me. I know I'm gonna need upright, so I went with a three inch by three inch box tubing. If I remember right, this is like three eighths of an inch wall. Maybe even a little thicker than that. It's heavy, it's a monster. Get enough of it to be able to make my upright, make my legs, little smaller beam to go in here to make my cross brace on it but you got to remember you got to think ahead I got to get it out the door let's get out the tape measure and we'll just come over here and measure all the way up to the top of the door from the from the floor and make the crane you know about two inches shorter just to make sure the trolley that the chain fall actually moves on I believe I got those down at Granger or it might have been MSC Direct, one or the other. I, I don't remember for sure. So I brought my, my support beams in. I brought my three-inch square in. I could lay out my legs. I could do all that right here on my lift table. Get everybody tacked together, nice and solid. It's not going to go anywhere. I've got two identical legs for it. I've got the, the uh, casters for it. So I just went to the local caster store and I said, you know, I'm building a crane. I need something that'll stand up to about three or four ton. The nice thing is two of them have locks on them. So I can just lock these two wheels and that keeps the whole crane from moving. I can bring the I-beam in now, lay it down on its side on the lift table. Pick up the lift table 
till I get my legs leveled out just the way I want them. So they're sitting up horizontally with their feet up in the air like this, and I can jig everything up, I can block it all up, I can get everybody square, tack my legs to my high beam, and just to make sure, I put a big heavy gusset in on both legs just to keep the legs from wanting to move. Take the strain off the weld itself and put it into the I-beam and the three inch box tubing. Make that bend rather than the weld itself. It's all down flat down here on the ground. I can do all my work down here. Kind of time to pick it up. You gotta remember this is my hydraulic lift table. So it'll go up from the ground. It'll go up to six feet tall. Well, I've still got a little higher to go. So I just made up some little tables. I put some little blocks under it. I was able to put the table all the way to the ground, pick that I-beam up with an engine hoist, get it up as high as I could, get it blocked in place, put some tie-down straps to it so it's not gonna move off the table. Go ahead and pick the table up and let the legs just kind of fall down into place, set everybody back down. All done. It quickly became known as Elmer Gantry. Look them up. You'll see what I'm talking about. So hopefully you find this as uplifting as I do. Oh my God, I can't believe I said that. I do appreciate y'all watching. Don't forget to hit that like button for me and click on an ad or two if you would, please. It helps pay for the videos. I'll see you next time. And the nice thing with the chain fall, the nice thing with the chain fall is they work really well if you get your foot off the chain.